After a bit of an iffy start to the season, uh, we seem to have hit a little bit of form. Seven games unbeaten. In fact, seven wins in all competitions going into today's episode. Today, can we continue that form in the Caribou Cup where we are defending our trophy and in the Premier League? Let's hope so. <laughs> Welcome to episode 52 of Making Chelsea Stand Proud. My name's Mark and on today's episode we have for you the fourth round of the Caribou Cup against Wigan Athletic and then a Premier League game against uh, Everton and uh, it's uh, all to play for because uh, we're in reasonable form as it currently stands. Uh, if we have a look, uh, nothing happened since you were last with us, I hasten to add, but as you'll see since we lost to Manchester City in the Premier League, we've um, we've won eight nil against West Ham in the third round of the EFL Cup, um, and then the Premier League, a Champions League phase against Juventus, um, Southampton in the Premier League, Bournemouth in the Premier League, Bromby in the Champions League league phase, and uh, we've also managed to beat Manchester United three two in the Premier League. Savage two goals and Havertz the other goal. So. All in all, um, it's uh, it's doing quite well. And, um, yeah, um, we're, we're, we're on a rich vein of form, hoping uh, that it will continue today in the Caribou Cup as we defend the title and obviously look uh, to uh, go uh, to, um, is it the third year in the row uh, that we've uh, actually won this competition? So uh, fingers crossed that we can do that. Um, obviously, our nemesis for this season appears to be um, Manchester City. So we've, we've got to try and avoid them uh, at all costs, that is for sure. Uh, right, uh, have, before we uh, have a look at the um, the games for today, let's just check on the uh, Premier League because um, nothing's, again, nothing's really happened. Everybody's played nine games. Manchester City out uh, in front on 22 points, but we're tucked in behind them now. On 21, three points clear of Wolves in third place. Tottenham in fourth on 17. Then come Liverpool on 16. Um, Brentford on 16. Newcastle on 15. Arsenal just outside of the European spaces on 14 points. Uh, today's opponents, Everton, are 11th currently on 13 points. Um, they've won two of their last five, lost the other three. Uh, we have won our last four on the trot. Um, lost one of our last five. Uh, Manchester City uh, the same, only slightly different uh, way round that they have done it. Who was that game that they lost to? It was Everton, actually. Today's uh, opponents, which is quite interesting. Um, hopefully we won't go and slip up on a banana skin uh, with them then. Uh, fingers crossed. Uh, before that, though, we have a game against Wigan. Um, we haven't played them before in this series. Um, and uh, they have come through this competition. Let's have a look and see who they beat in the last round, if we can. Um, um, third round. There we go. That's the way to do it, Mark. Um, we're looking for Wigan. Wigan beat Mansfield by three goals to nil in the last round uh, to get them through. So uh, championship um, opposition playing League 2 opposition. As I said, we don't want a banana skin uh, today if we can help it. Uh, Barboza is out. He's got a pulled ankle ligament. That is the only team news from our end. Um, and, of course, last time out, we did play this uh, revised formation. Um, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Uh, we did play the revised formation with the uh, just the defensive midfielder and then two playing in sort of central midfield roles. Uh, we are going to go with that again today, I think. Um, and see how we get on against Wigan. Let's have a look then. It's time to have a look at the team that will face Wigan in the Caribou Cup fourth round. Uh, 
And the team to face uh, Wigan at uh, the DW Stadium in this Caribou Cup fourth round. Mendy Ingall, Chilwell, Garcia, Timber and James are our back line. Kante as a defensive midfielder in front of them. Uh, then uh, Rice and Fernandez as the central midfields. Rodrigo and Sterling wide attacking midfield and Havitz uh, leading the attack up front. Kanadzewski, uh, Fafana, Kukurela, Kulabai, Broja, Savic, Kovacic, Mount and Tell all on the bench. And this is how the two sides face up. 4-2-3-1 uh, for Wigan. Liam Richardson, the manager, of course. And that's how we face up with our new formation, 4-3-3 formation. Our first highlight, and it's uh, Wigan, three minutes in. Timber tidying up. Finds Rice. Rice to... Fernandez, Fernandez over the top, Sterling. Question of offside, and I think it is offside. Disallowed. He well, he was just about onside. I think it was uh, habits, possibly. James with a throw in on this near side. Timber back to Mendy. Mendy to Chilwell. Chilwell finds Rice. Rice finds Rodrigo. Rodrigo over the top to Habits. Habits chips the goalkeeper. And it looked as if it went over, but it obviously didn't. And we have a free kick. James with the free kick. It's gone over the top, though. And they have a throw in. Causing us a few problems at the moment. Rodrigo winning that ball, though. Habits to Fernandez. Fernandez goes out wide looking for Sterling. Sterling crosses it in and the goalkeeper makes a fine save. James with the corner on that uh, far side. Swings it in looking for Garcia but uh, it's headed clear. Rodrigo has been tackled. And no more highlights. Dominant first half but not been able to find the breakthrough as yet. Uh, eight shots, just two on target, 1.34, 58% of the possession. Uh, we need to up a gear in the second half to win this one. First highlight of the second half, Chilwell to Garcia, Kante, Timber. Timber comes forward looking for Sterling, and uh, Sterling really wasn't on that at all, was he? And uh, Wigan come forward, but Timber cuts out the uh, ball over the top. James, Kante, Sterling, Fernandez, Rice moving the ball around nicely to Rodrigo. Rodrigo tries to thread it through to Havitz, but didn't make it. Swings that ball out and it's headed across. McGrath has a shot. And with 62 minutes on the clock, we make two changes. Kai Havitz not having a good game up front. Uh, Mateus Tell on the way back from injury uh, uh, switches to attack. And uh, Kante, who has uh, been playing as the uh, deep line playmaker, um, he's come off and Mason Mount come on. Mason Mount going into central mid and Declan Rice dropping back into that uh, defensive midfield role. McGrath with a uh, free kick, but it's cleared as far as Chilwell. Chilwell forward looking for uh, Rodrigo, I'm guessing. Was it Rodrigo? Was it Sterling on this side? It was Tell, actually, who come back for that. But uh, the ball's been given back to uh, Wigan, and Wigan are in. Oh, it's just gone wide. In fact, it was a save by Mendy. It's a corner. Danger ensues. Swings it in. Mendy comes and collects that. And fires a long ball forward. Wigan have really given us a game here. Byram, McGrath. Shoots that one in. He's gone in and they've scored. Ryan Gell's his first goal of the season. And now we've got to come back from uh, being down. This is not good. And it's all changed. We've made two more changes. Uh, Fernandez is off for Savage. Um, and Declan Rice has gone off for Kovacic. And we've switched to our 4-2-1-2-1 uh, formation and uh, see if uh, that will do us any good. 
Kovacic swings it forward, looking for Tell. Chilwell heads it down. Kovacic threads it through. Tell is in. He's hit the post. And he was offside anyway. And with 86 minutes on the clock, we are in danger of going out here. And with 86 minutes on the clock, our final roll of the dice. Uh, Raheem Sterling is off for Brozier on the right-hand side. And we've gone to our 4-2-3-1 uh, formation, uh, matching them up and seeing if we can pull something out of the uh, out of the pot here. Um, uh, yeah, I'm wondering whether we can or we can't. Let's go and see. Let's hopefully we need one back and for extra time. James uh, got a highlight straight away. Sterling still on. And uh, Mount wins that ball in midfield. Kovacic, Rodrigo has taken off his foot. James, though, is still alive. Mount, James crosses into the area. It's come back over the woodwork. And Rodrigo puts it away. It has gone in the back of the net this time. It is 1-1 with 88 minutes on the clock. And the changes are yet to happen. And uh, the formation yet to happen as well. James, Mount... Back to James. James fired that across. Sterling had a swipe at it. It came back off the woodwork and Rodrigo headed it in the back of the net. And no extra time. It's straight to penalties. As if this... <laughs> this could be rather telling. Right, OK. Um, penalties. Matthias Tell. Savic. Kovacic, Rodrigo, and then it goes to Ben Chilwell and Yaron Timber. So that is how the penalties line up. Penalties it is then. Mount is first up. Mount puts it away. Goalkeeper going the right way though. 1-0. McGrath against Mendy. Mendy saves. Mateus Tell. And he's put it away. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. 2-0 after two. McLean against Mendy. And it's gone in, luckily. 2-1 then after two. Third, and here comes Savic, Sergi Savic. He sent the goalkeeper the wrong way as well. So we've uh, scored all our penalties, three of them, power. And he sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. It's 3-2 after three. Kovacic next up. Oh, tucked it inside the goalkeeper. That was close. Archer steps up. Mendy saves this. It's all over. And he's missed. It's hit the crossbar. And we go through by four goals to two on penalties to the next round. Deary me. I don't want to, <laughs> don't want to be doing those too often. Rodrigo, player of the match, uh, 8.3 on the XG. Oh, dear. So we have a draw Coming up at some point, I'm not sure if it's uh, before um, the um, Everton game or after. We'll check it out in just a few moments. Uh, they had eight shots, two of which were on target, 1.21, 44% of the possession. Uh, we had 19 shots, seven on target, just couldn't seem to break them down. 3.05, we should have had three goals, really. 56% uh, of the possession, it's just one of those days, and it could have been giant killing at its best. And here's confirmation of uh, us uh, getting through that by the skin of our teeth, say the less. Uh, got us, all our penalties scored. Mount, Tell, Savage, and Kovacic. Uh, McGrath, McLean. McGrath missing his. McLean and Power scoring. Archer hitting the crossbar. And uh, we ventured through to the next round. 4-2. Ooh. Um, we don't want to come that close again if we can help it. So uh, mm, that's uh, definitely a worry from our point of view. Uh, right, it's on to Everton then is our next game. Uh, having got through, we need to check out, didn't we? We were going to check to see when the draw for that is scheduled. Draw. The draw is coming up before 
the Everton game. So uh, we will uh, come back for that next before the uh, teams for the Everton game. So uh, that will be our next uh, port of call. Um, so I'm not going to have a look too much at this at the moment. Uh, probably just to tell you then that we'll be back for the draw for the uh, quarterfinals of the uh, Caribou Cup. Don't forget, we are the holders currently. And before we head into the Everton game, uh, here is the Caribou Cup quarterfinal draw. And uh, there are eight teams in the hat for four matches to be drawn. Manchester City, Chelsea, Northampton Town and Sheffield Wednesday amongst those teams. Let's have a look then. These are the teams. Leicester, Brighton, Sheffield Wednesday, Manchester City. The team we want to avoid. Northampton, Brentford, Chelsea and Wolves. In uh, defence of our tro uh, the uh, trophy that we've won for the last two seasons. Let's go then. Leicester first out. We'll play Sheffield Wednesday. Premier League playing League One side. Northampton will play Chelsea. So we have got Northampton, a League Two side of all sides. Um, never give anything up because... Uh, Wigan give us a fairly tough run for our money. And uh, that's who we will be playing. Brighton then will play Manchester City. Brighton and Manchester City in the quarterfinal. Which means Brentford will play Wolves. That is the draw. Leicester, Sheffield Wednesday. Northampton versus Chelsea. Brighton versus Manchester City. Brentford versus Wolves. That is the draw for the quarterfinal of the Caribou Cup. Um, we'll go back to Mark now and uh, have a look at the uh, uh, Everton team. Not the Everton team, but the team that will face Everton. In fact, we'll do that now. Uh, there is confirmation of the draw against uh, Northampton. Um, where does that fit into the running order? Way down here. So we've got a little way to go before we get to there then. Uh, right, Everton then, second game up in the episode. Uh, we have played them four times this series so far, beat them three times, drew 1-1 at uh, Goodison um, when we played them before, beat them 5-0 uh, towards the end of last season. And on the corresponding fixture last season uh, was that 1-1 draw. Um, so let's hope for better today. Um, are we at home or away? That's what we want to know. Uh, we are away. So at Goodison, 1-1 one, one draw when we were there last time. Let's uh, hope for a better result today. And here is the team that will face Everton in this Premier League game. Um, I can tell you that Tottenham have beaten Liverpool and uh, taken up a second place. Um, not second place, third place. Um, as it currently stands in the Premier League, this is uh, what it looks like. Uh, as you see, beating Liverpool by two goals to nil. Uh, they are in third now on 20 points. Liverpool fourth on 19 points. And then Wolves a ninth, uh, fifth on fifth, uh, 18 points. Uh, so that's how that lines up. The other thing that I have to mention is we've been talking about Goodison Park. Well, um, as you will remember, uh, Everton are due to move from Goodison Park. And in game, they have done so because uh, 2024, they moved to Bramley Moor Dock in Liverpool. So it's our first outing to Bramley Moor Dock um, for this um, Premier League game. And the team to face Everton for it are oh, Mendy in goal, Chilwell, Garcia, Fafana and James are our back line. Fernandez is the deep line playmaker. Rice and Savic in front of him. Rodrigo and Otavio are the wide players. Habits uh, leading the attack up front. Uh, Karnaceski, uh, Kulabai, Kukurela, Sterling, Timber, Mount, Kante, Kuman, and Tell all on the bench. And this is how the two teams face off against one another. Bruno Large is the manager at Everton and they have Pickford in goal. 
uh, Molienko, uh, Sturrock, uh, Mina, Patterson, uh, Garner, and uh, sorry, let's try that again. Uh, M- 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 Mecolino, Sturrock, Mina, and Patterson as their defensive line. Joe Garner as defensive midfielder. Paquette and Onana as the uh, central midfielders. Gordon and uh, Juan Pedro as the wide players. Cal- Dominic Calvert-Lewin up front on the bench. They have Virginia, Godfrey, Groove, uh, Ozerman, uh, Vicenno, uh, Teles, uh, Crome, Quintin and Campbell. And 16 minutes in, our first highlight. Rice passing that ball back to Garcia. And we're playing in this sort of like uh, beigey kit. And I'm not sure. It's the default kit in the game. And I'm not quite sure why. We've put third. We've put our own kits in, as you know. And uh, we have a white away kit. And it's not uh, been, uh, been showing up for some reason or other. But Dominic Calvert-Lewin has got uh, the opener after 18 minutes. And uh, it's not good news. Who was that? Fafano didn't tackle him. Oh, just being played on side. And it was James who was playing him on side. And we have a throw in. Chilwell with a long throw. It's headed backwards. Uh, Rice picks it up on the edge of the area. Has a go. Tries to curl it in, uh, but not on target. And that was the only highlight in that first half and a goal as well. We've changed formation um, because uh, we're really not in it at the moment, as you can see. Um, of three shots, one on target, 0.09 on the XG, 53% possession. Everton have had two shots, one on target, 0.46. 47% of the possession. Uh, we need to do better in the second half. Well, with 60, nearly 66 minutes on the clock, and we're not making any inroads here at all, uh, we've made some dramatic changes up front. Uh, Mateus Tell comes on for Habits, who's uh, really out of form uh, altogether. Uh, Kuman comes in on the right for Otavio and Mount takes up Savage's uh, space as the attacking playmaker as we've changed formation. Really need to uh, get some goals back early in this, well, not early in this second half, but uh, soon after these substitutions. If we're going to make inroads in here, we definitely need to get back going very, very soon. Mount with the corner, swung in. It's headed back out, though. Back to Mount. Garcia on the edge of the area. Garcia's been felled in the box. It looks like a penalty, and we're going to get back on terms via a penalty. Oh, Mount is on, and it's uh, Mount, I think, is probably primed to take. It is a penalty, and uh, Garcia was felled. Who's up for this then? It's Mason Mount, and he tucks it away. The goalkeeper went there. Pickford went the right way. But uh, Mason Mount's third of the season gets us equal after 74 minutes. And uh, oh, just squeezing that in. And with 76 minutes on the clock, having got that goal back, uh, we've uh, changed it up again a little bit. Um, we have taken off Rodrigo on the left-hand side of uh, attacking midfield. Uh, Raheem Sterling is on for him. And uh, we have taken off... Uh, Declan Rice has come off. He's tired. Um, we've brought Kante on for him. They are our final two changes. Can that make a difference? Let's go and find out. Gordon with a free kick. It's headed in and they've scored another one. Uh, maybe it isn't going to be our afternoon. In fact, our episode, really. We struggled against Wigan. And now we're struggling against Everton. And they have a free kick now. Gordon with a free kick. And that's taken a wild deflection and it's gone. It's bobbling around. And it isn't given. Thank goodness for that. Onana... 
the scorer. It bobbled around. Mendy just pumped it up in the air, really. I'm not quite sure what was going on. And we have a throw in on that far side. Chilwell, Mount, back to Garcia. Kante fires it forward, looking for Tell, but didn't find him. Chilwell, still alive. Kante's lost it, though. Oh, he's won it back. Gus uh, Enzo, Fernandez over the top. Mason Mount. Mason Mount. His fourth goal of the season saves us again. Two minutes into injury time with only three minutes on the clock. Kante winning that ball back. And Kante with the ball over the top. Finding Mount. Mount controlled it. Onto his right foot and beats Pickford. And it's all over. It's a 2-2 draw and we're lucky. Very, very lucky to get away with that. We were lacklustre. We've been lacklustre all episode. Mendy, again, throwing in a really poor performance in goal. And I don't know what's the matter with this team. Uh, it needs a swift kick up the what's it. And uh, bearing in mind, we spent 300 and odd million. Don't really be seeing the rewards for it. Koeman's come on. He's not really done anything. Um, it's just very, very poor. I'm not quite sure what is going on. Uh, but we need to uh, sort it out quick. Um, and we've lost a bit of ground at the top of the table there, unfortunately. Let's have a look and see how the table has been affected. Uh, just to pick up on the stats, uh, we've had 11 shots, 4 on target, 1.60, 49% possession. Uh, that's unusual for us, being uh, below the 50%. They've had 10 shots, 3 on target, 1.11 on the uh, XG, 51% uh, of the possession. We just overawed them towards the end there. But uh, phew, was it close? Well, in adversity, when you think all things are against you, they are not because Manchester City could only manage a nil-nil draw against Newcastle, which means that we are still one point behind Manchester City at the top of the table, which is rather splendid. So not all has been lost by our 2-2 draw with Everton. Uh, with Tottenham beating Liverpool, uh, but then they've come up into uh, third place, uh, two points behind us. Uh, Liverpool dropping down to fourth uh, with 19 points, so three points behind us. Um, yeah, um, so not all things have been too bad, uh, uh, all things are being considered. We've uh, managed to get away with that, and I say get away with it. Um, right, post-match, uh, post we're not going to do that. We're uh, going to have a look at our next episode it's coming up very quickly. Baal and Fulham. Let's hope we perform better in the next episode. Though we won that game against Wigan, it was only on penalties. Rodrigo on 88 minutes after being a goal behind. Uh, we've really had a bit of a traumatic day. Let's hope things turn around. We might have to look. Um, having played this formation and it been doing exceedingly well for us, maybe we've hit a bit of a brick roll. I wonder if that's something to do with the... Um, with the uh, winter update that's caused, that's caused that, I wonder. And if it is, we might have to look for a uh, slightly tweaked formation. We'll see. Uh, right, that's it. Uh, back for Baal and Fulham in the next episode. And uh, that's coming up uh, on Friday. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification button that will keep you up to date with everything that's happening on this uh, channel uh, future episodes of this series new series and my other series uh, new episodes of making chelsea stand proud are currently released every tuesday and friday at 4 15 p.m and if you want to keep up to date what's happening on this channel and more the best place to do it is to follow me on twitter at just offside two uh, thank you for watching hope to see you for the next episode then it's going to be episode 53 it's out on friday until then goodbye